like a big blue sky. I know someone has me on their heart tonight. That's why I know it's gonna be alright because somebody's praying me through. Somebody's praying me through. It may be my mother. It might be my dad, an old friend I forgot I had. Whoever it is, I'm so glad that somebody's praying me through. Oh, somebody's praying. My name is David Cochran. And I'm Brenda Cochran. And we're chaplains with Checker Flag Racing Ministries. We've been chaplains since 1998 with Gas City, Miami County, and Kokomo Speedways in Indiana, and with the United States Auto Club Sprint Car Series that travels all over the United States. We travel approximately between 15 and 20,000 miles a year. We travel from California to Pennsylvania, from Michigan to Florida. Our goal is to reach out into the racing community and build a relationship and that uh, with each one of the drivers and each one of the crew members and, and all their families. Uh, there's a lot of these guys that they, they're not able to go to church during the racing season because they're out there all the time. Some of them don't ever go to church and that. So that's the only gospel that they get. And to build that relationship with them uh, and to let them know that whenever they're in an accident, we're going to be there. We go with them to the hospital. We spend time at the hospital with them until they're released. And, that, uh, and then after they're released, we go to their homes and we make sure and stay in contact with them. We make sure that if they have any kind of need in their life, we try and meet that need for them and let them see Christ through us 
as we meet the needs for them, whether it be feeding their animals, whether it be mowing their yard, whether it be cleaning their house, whatever they need until they can go back to racing. When we go to the hospital when a driver is injured, I spend a lot of time with the wife or if they have children with their children. And it gives me an opportunity to stand beside them. While we're at the hospital, we provide our RV, which gives the families or crew members an opportunity to go out to RV, get a little bit of rest, take a shower. We provide a box that has all of the necessities in it that they would need for their own personal care. And we also like to put a devotion in there so that the, the, they will see that we are doing this for Christ, that we are a part of His hand extended to reach out to them during this time of crisis. So this gives us, me an opportunity to minister one-on-one -on -one with these wives or their girlfriends or their crew members. The love of Christ isn't a one-time deal. It's throughout everything, throughout all facets of your life. And we try and make sure that they understand the, what God has given us is not just for us. It's available for anybody that asks. So we try and make sure that they know that they can ask Christ into their heart and, that, and they can have the same love that we have for them. We want to take this time to thank you for letting us come in and you watching the video with us and explain a little bit about the racing ministry. Our budget is $25,000 a year to get us back and forth to the races. And if you feel like God is telling you in any way to help us out with that budget with a tax-free donation or just in prayer, then there's a phone number and there's going to be an email address on the screen. You can contact us at either one of those uh, mediums and we will get back with you. Or instead of a one lump donation, some donation, if you would prefer just to support us monthly, we would appreciate that also. And in God's word, he says to go into all the world and compel them to come into my house. And that's what we're doing with the racing ministry. We're going where they... They don't have anybody that shows them the love of Christ and that. And we're trying to compel them to come into His house. We're trying to help them to understand that they need a personal relationship with Christ. And if there's any way you can help us to be able to do that, we would appreciate that. Once again, I'm David Cochran. And I'm Brenda Cochran. God bless you. So